In this point-wise demonstration, I'll be presenting an alternative to fault-tolerant meshing. Rather than healing the surface mesh, I'll heal the geometry instead by creating a watertight model from the dirty intake geometry. So what is a dirty geometry? Well, if we select the intake port geometry, go to examine boundary proximity, we can see that gaps exist in the surface of the intake port. So what we can do is with the model still selected or with the geometry still selected, we can go to create, assemble models, Instead of using the default edge tolerance, I'll enter in a tolerance that's on the, the same order as the size of the gaps and cracks in the surface. I'll then click Assemble. This will create a single watertight solid model from the intake port geometry. With the model still selected, I'll now apply a surface mesh, which is watertight. I'll then cap off the ends of the intake port. Select all the surface meshes and assemble a single volume mesh and initialize it. With the volume mesh initialized, I can now go to examine to take a section cut and look inside. So in this demonstration I presented an alternative to fault tolerant meshing. Rather than healing the surface mesh, I created a single watertight solid model using pointwise's solid modeling features. Once I assembled the watertight model, I was able to quickly create a watertight surface mesh for the geometry. I then capped off the ends of the intake port without the use of any underlying geometry, and in the end was able to select all the service meshes I had just created and construct a single volume mesh.